Welcome to the Easy Computer Fixes channel and today we're going to show you how to put your printer as the default printer. That's a problem that happens often. You buy one printer, two printers, another printer. Uh, maybe sometimes you didn't remove the old printers. And what happens is you notice that when you click the print, it uh, actually always prints to a printer that maybe is unused or maybe a old printer or if you have multiple printers you notice that it's always the wrong printer uh, I have many printers here and I usually want to have one printer as a default my uh, laser printer my monochrome laser printer I want it to be the default because it's the one that costs the less to print so um, how do you do that all you have to do is going to your control panel so you click the start button in Windows and then you'll click the control panel in the control panel you will see something called devices and printers um, if you're using an old version of Windows you might see printers directly this will bring you to all the devices that are installed and especially the printers look at the printers so here you see that my printer default printer is OneNote which is not something that I use and uh, which means that if I print I'll actually send the print to OneNote which is not what I want I have HP LaserJet P1505 here this is what I want it's a little grayed out because it's not plugged in but it doesn't matter it still works so look at the list of printers and right click the printer that you want to set as a default there you will see set as default printer you know that it works because you see that little green check mark is now fixed to this printer on Vista I believe it's a black check mark but whatever little design it is you need to have the check mark on the printer you will use as the default printer and that's all there is to it you can close down the window and just start printing you'll know that this is now the default printer one thing that um, I want to mention here is while you're in the printers section why not remove old printers that you don't use anymore uh, you know you can right click on the printers you don't want and uh, say well okay I don't want this so I will remove device by right clicking and you just click remove device and that's it and it removes all the devices the printers that you might not use anymore uh, and it's a great way to actually have um, less trouble especially if you have multiple printers um, if you got old printers you don't use anymore it's always a little annoying to have in the multiple printer list the um, printers that you don't have anymore or you don't use anymore so if you enjoy our little tips and tricks, why not subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, uh, let us know. Maybe a computer problem, a tablet, a iOS, a Android, whatever. Something you need to know and you don't know how to fix it. Well, why not ask away and we'll try to put a video online and help you. And you'll be helping others at the same time. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.